I've got a couple of beautiful fresh snapper here from a friend that went fishing and had some extras and I'm about to gut those now and I'm going to put those into the freezer. Gutting these fish is not really my favourite job. There they are done. The two freshly gutted fish. Tim won't do it so that job's left up to me. I find the best way to do it is just to give it a cut and I just reach in with my hands and I do it by feel. I don't actually look what I'm doing because it's pretty disgusting when you're looking at it. But when you do it and you turn your head the other way, it's not so bad at all. And just rinse it out with running water and easy peasy, all done. I've just got some corn cobs boiling there. I'm just actually blanching them. I'm not cooking them right through. And then I'm going to turn that off now and let that cool and I'm going to put those into the freezer. So you don't have to cook them all the way through. Some people just freeze them completely fresh without doing any cooking, but I like to blanch them. When you heat them up again, it doesn't take as long. You don't have to cook them through. So I always like to blanch my veggies just a little bit before I put them in the freezer unless of course I'm going to use them for cooking. Look at these magnificent oyster mushrooms. I've got these were excess uh, from where I work and I'm going to put these into the dehydrator and dehydrate these for later use. I may cook some up in a tempura batter but these are just beautiful, the different colours of them. And this is a real treat. I don't grow my own mushrooms, so it's really nice to have access to these to be able to dry these for future use. I'll put those in the cupboard. I'll just give you a quick scan of my table. Got produce on the table and some beautiful plants and some fruit down there. Does anyone else's kitchen table look like this at times? Sometimes I just uh, clean it off and then five minutes later it's full of stuff again. But they say the kitchen table is the heart of the home. Well, I don't know about the heart of the home, but it certainly holds a lot of stuff. There's the first row that I've got in the dehydrator. Now, I normally wouldn't crowd them in, probably so crowded, but I've only got four trays in this dehydrator. It's a round one. And I'll probably have to do these in two batches, but I haven't got a lot of room in the fridge to store the mushrooms. So I'm just probably doing them a little bit more crowded than I normally would. Have a look at the size of that beautiful one there. Look at that, it's like a big, elephant ear almost. So we just tuck those in there. Just make sure there's a little bit of room around them so the air can circulate and dry them. I'll let you know how long I have to have that on for. Layer number two, layer number three, and the final layer. So I'll pop the lid on that and turn it on and get that dehydrating. Just make sure that lid's on there properly. It's a little bit full. There we go. That's on there. And I'll just turn it on and get it going. And we'll be back in a few hours to see how it's going. Lift the lid off. This is about 12 hours into drying. I've put it outside, the um, dehydrator outside, because it was pretty noisy going through the night. But as you can see, they are well and truly crispy and dried. So that's 12 hours. And if you have a look at them, they have just dried up nice. And I'll be able to store those in the cupboard. And if you want to rehydrate them, you just... Put them in some boiling water and leave them and they'll puff back up again ready for use and the water that you soak them in is really good it's a really good mushroom stock
and the last one. Even that great big one dried up really nice and crispy to put on the next lot for drying. Here we have the finished product from the dehydrator. You can see that those are really well dehydrated. I make sure that I dehydrate them till they're very crispy and I'll store those in the pantry in glass jars with a silica sachet to keep the moisture out of them. And they can be added to any of your meals, your soups, your stews, that type of thing really really delicious and a great way to store them if you can't get them all year round and this is what I do when I get provided with extra produce or bulk produce and that way it's in my cupboard for when I need it.